This video is about uh, the Building Java Programs book chapter 8, which is about classes and self-check 14 to string point. So um, to string is a function that all classes uh, support, and we're going to write a to string for ourselves. And um, what they we want the object is a point which takes an x and a y, and it, we want to print out a string in this format. So for every object, when you call to string on it, it should generate something useful. Okay, by default it's not very useful, but we we um, we want it to to generate something useful like this. So um, this particular problem says it's a partial class problem, and they don't want you to put in the class header, but I'm going to go ahead and paste that in just because I, I like to sh show students really where this goes because otherwise you might get the wrong idea. So normally you're going to have a public class, right? And then you've got the int x, y. You're going to have, um, for small classes, you would have your, your main. I'm not going to put that here. Um, and then you would typically have your constructors. We haven't gotten to that yet. And then you would have your getters and setters. Typically the last thing is going to be your two string. Okay, so that's where this comes in. So two string is always returning a string, as you might guess. It's called two string. It's got to be called two string. You can't call it something else because everybody expects it to be called two string. Uh, and if you called it something else, then everybody who's calling two string, it's it's not going to work. So uh, all we have to do is we have to turn our string. So let's figure out what goes in that string. So we uh, can see from above here, this Java AWT point, that is a fixed string. Okay. Uh, and so is this open brace here. And we also, yeah, the X equals, that's always the same for every point, okay? But remember that this X and Y, these are class, class variables, not local variables. They would be created in the constructor. They would be set in the getters and setters. And so somehow we have gotten to a point where the X, Y would equal 5 and negative 17, okay? So we want to refer to that X and Y now. So we want to add in what the X value is. So I'm going to put this dot X, okay? That this is not specifically required, but I have to always have my students do it. So you realize it's not just some local variable. Okay, then we're going to have a comma y equals. Then we have to add in the this dot y. And then we got to finish this up with a close brace. And that's it. ToString is generally the simplest of the functions for students to understand. All oh, right, so I don't need any of this stuff. So let me go ahead and delete this now before we, we run. Okay, so that works. Now let's just take a look at what the tests are. So they tried passing in various numbers. So the point is you don't want to just hard code what this, this is. You want it to actually refer to this.x and this.y. They use some positive, they use some negatives, zeros, yeah. Um, so again, what is this problem about? This problem is about using the class members, uh, similar to 8.7 and 8.11 using strings. This time we've got integers. It's a little bit confusing because you're not seeing the whole class here, but I showed you what the whole class looks like. And um, it's talking about two string. It's the introduction of two string. Every class needs a two string. There's a default two string that just spits out a. Um, oh, actually, that's a good point. Here, let's let's try deleting this. What happens if I don't do that? It should. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so what it ended up printing out. Um, don't worry about that. That's just part of the practice. It's test harness. But this number out here. This is a hexadecimal memory address, okay? That is the default for all objects in Java. They will print out a hexadecimal memory address for what the object is. Not useful at all. That is why you need to override toString. We haven't really talked much about override, but what we're doing is we're overriding the toString here so that it'll actually print out something very nice for us here, like that. And um, yeah, 
So if you found that helpful, please like and subscribe. I have a complete curriculum going over all the chapters of the book and a lot of these practice problems.